All right, uh, a little while ago when I moved, Dynamic Fuzz reached out to me and told me he wanted to send me a, a little goodie bag of things to check out, which was super cool uh, because I consider him a way bigger deal than myself. Uh, and it was unsolicited, which kind of blew my mind. Uh, but so the first thing I want to look at here is his T Keeper, which is uh, his belt mount uh, tourniquet pouch. And uh, he says it's the lightest one on the market which I don't have any reason to doubt that. So uh, for starters, what I really like is it's a single piece of elastic. I feel like I have had the best luck uh, in training drawing uh, tourniquets when it's a single piece of elastic versus a setup like this. I just feel like there's too many, uh, too many possibilities for something to snag. Tourniquets are not the most like user-friendly form factor for fitting in things, so I like that. Um, Additionally, due to the way this is built, there ends up being a sleeve in the back that you can fit some shears in. Uh, and then there's multiple mounting options here. So if you want this in a horizontal uh, belt mount setup, you would disregard this strip of uh, one wrap here. And you would actually run the belt through the slot that the shears are in. Uh, there's two pieces of one wrap here sandwiched together. You just run it between them. Uh, and because it's one wrap, you would be able to lock that on your belt uh, wherever you set it up. If you wanted this uh, vertical on your belt, which is kind of neat, uh, you would put your belt just like this one wrap is running right now through this slot here. And that would keep it um, upright on your belt. Also, it kind of raises it up. A little bit more than than typical so you've got you know it's it's legitimately halfway up the pouch so it kind of keeps it from from getting too low on your belt and then this one wrap that's uh, in here also gives you the option to use this as a, uh, a front plate pocket or rear plate pocket dangler so you would position the one wrap where you need it uh, I'm not gonna mess with that right now because it is firmly locked in there and then uh, you would just run the one wrap strip up into your plate pocket. You could flip it so it doesn't matter what the orientation is of your plate pocket, and then it would be tucked uh, directly under there. So I think this thing is like 15 bucks. It's it's a pretty, pretty capable uh, little option at a very affordable price, um, and it, it's it's well done. I, I'm a, As soon as I got it, I was a, a big fan of it, especially when he showed me all the different ways that it could be configured. So. Dynamic Fuzz, if you haven't heard of them, you're living under a rock, but uh, definitely check them out. Uh, some of the other goodies, I think I'm going to do like a whole helmet build video, and uh, I'll show you guys those hopefully pretty soon. All right, thanks guys.